everybody, Janet Avila here. I am the owner of String Theory Yarn Company and I am also one of the lucky um, people who gets to put together the Good Vibes Yarn Tour for you. So um, I'm here today to talk to you about the inspiration that I had um, in designing the Cadillac um, Ranch Cowl. So, so for this, tour we went to um we went on route 66 and so we were picking out different spots on route 66 that um we liked and i had recently been well in the last couple of years been to cadillac ranch and if you haven't been um you really need to see that at some point it is a series of cadillac cars that are stuck into the dirt this way there's probably a dozen maybe um, of them and they are covered in paint um, the thing is that people come and they bring their spray paint cans and they paint graffiti or their names and so many people um, paint over them all the time that the crust of paint on the car is very very thick so um, this cowl was um, I designed based on the yarn that we got. So I sent a picture of the Cadillacs all painted to um, the owner of the artist behind uh, Destination Yarns and she yarns and she came up with the most beautiful colors and it's just thrilled you can see it on this side. Um, and she talked to us about how she um, was thinking about it and she came up with one color and it was just too pretty and she wanted something uh, grittier because it's because it's paint um, and graffiti and metal and so she wanted it grittier and so she just came up I was just absolutely thrilled with what she came up with very variegated so if you've got some yarns out there that are very variegated and you're just not quite sure what to do um, I recommend this this cowl for those. So I took the very variegated and then she did another companion color which was um, called a paint can. So it was like the aluminum color of a um, of a spray paint can. And you can see in here sort of that there are um, two rows of one and two rows of the other and it just goes back and forth. And I just love the way it meld it all together. So if you have a speckled yarn and um, or a very variegated yarn, you could pull one of the colors out from there and use that as your second color, your your solid color for this. And it will give you this all over effect rather than um, a super distinct stripey effect. Um, often when I'm telling people to combine colors, I'm saying, okay, pick a variegated and then pick a color that's not in there so that you get the contrast stripes. But for this, um, I think it's kind of cool if it melds a little bit. So get your variegated and then pull a color out of there for this. Um, I wanted, it's a bandana shape, very, very easy to wear. As you can see, you know, just basically toss it on and voila um, and I wanted to kind of play with the um, stripes in that here you've got a texture and here you've got solid stock, stock in it. I just like seeing the way colors play on the um, different stitches and so um, I wanted to make sure that you could see both both textures in there. So that's what I did when I came up with this. I also threw in a bunch of my favorite um, techniques that you'll see in the pattern. And um, you'll have enough, I believe, um, to make two. Um, actually, I made a pair of socks, short socks, with my leftovers. So um, yeah, so it doesn't take a lot of yarn, which means it goes really fast and um, fun project to make and fun to wear. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Thanks.